I want to put this short video together for you so that you can truly understand and get a visual representation of the basics of search engine optimization. The general concept is simple. This is just a simple cut and dry explanation of SEO. Once you understand the basic fundamentals, then you can get into all the complexities. This is not about that. So if you're already an SEO guru, I'd advise you to still watch this short video. But um, this is probably what you'll already know. So we get started, you have a site you're managing. Build it and they will come, not necessarily. Your site is just your site until we get other people or other websites talking about your site. Once you get other people talking about your site, you want them to actually link to your site. Now, when people talk about your site on the internet, it can be any means. It can be video. It can be audio and podcasts. It can be content, Web 2.0 sites, press releases, articles, blog posts. And new to SEO is social media. Now, social media, although this video is not going to drill down on social media, social media is a newer component to SEO over the last uh, couple months to year. It's going to be a very large part of your optimization structure. So if you've been running away from social media, it's time to embrace it. What we ultimately want is all those sites that are talking about and referring you, we want links. So we want site one to link to your site. We want site two to link to your site. We want site three to link to your site. This is what's considered link building. Link building is nothing but getting other websites to point back to you. Now, this can happen naturally, or we can give it a boost. And it's best if we have both. Again, we'll start off, we have, okay, three sites linking to us. Then we have four, then we have five, then we have six and seven and eight. They all begin to link to us. The more sites that link to us, the more authority we get, the higher our search engine ranking will be. But all links are not created equal. It's not as easy as just getting a bunch of links coming in. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to give you three link categories. We've got regular value links, mid value links, and authority links. Authority links are what everybody wants. They're the most relevant. Regular links are just, you know, average people. Mid links are in the middle. They're all valuable, but obviously the most valuable would be the authority. Now to break it down in simple terms, I'm a car guy, so a regular link would be like a Ford Focus. A mid value link would be like a you know BMW 5 series, maybe even an M5. Authority link, Rolls Royce Phantom, or some expensive exquisite, something hard to reach. Now what makes an authority link? There are many factors, but from a basic standpoint, how many links are pointing to that link? So how many inbound links the inbound link has. There are other factors like age and, and other things. We're just going to keep it basic though. How many mid value and authority links are pointing to that link? That is what makes a link an authority and this will make sense in a moment. And then page rank is a combination of what we just explained in the last two. Now basic ranking factors like we just talked about on page SEO, headline tags, bolding, underline, italicizing, keyword phrases, anchor text links off page SEO is the quantity of inbound links and the authority of those links so it's not just quantity but it is also quality because the more quality links you have the less the quantity matters let's go over two types of inbound links there's a regular inbound link which would be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.yoursite.com you would click that it would go to yoursite.com then there's the anchor text inbound link which is much more powerful and we'll explain why in a moment local marketing in Toledo if you click that that'll take you to http colon forward slash forward slash www.yoursite.com but because of the blue highlighted text which is called anchor text it tells the search engines what the web page is supposed to be about. 
And then if you have all the on-page factors to tie in with the off-page anchor text, your site is more relevant to the search engines. Anchor text links are the best links, but it is always good to diversify. So let's get back to our initial link building diagram. We have one authority link pointing to our site. We have four regular values, which is nothing wrong with regular values. They're just not as valuable. There's nothing wrong with a Ford Focus. It gets you from point A to B, but a BMW is more fun and a BMW gets more attention. Same concept here. So then we also have three mid values. Now just this linking structure alone would make your site much more valuable because what happens is that authority filters into your site. That's why you want that authority and mid value links. Now, what made the authority link the authority link? Let's quickly go over this quick scenario. This authority link happens to have four regular values, three mid values, and one authority pointing to it, which now has made this an authority link. Site number two, yeah, it's got two regular value links. It's still, you know, regular value. And site number three, we've got five regular values and one mid value, which made that the mid value. Now, when I say mid value, authority link, regular value, I'm trying to speak in layman's terms. Technically, this will be spoken in authority numbers from zero to 100, or what you'll oftentimes hear is page rank. Now, page rank zero through three would be your regular value. Page rank four through four to five would be your mid value. Page rank six and above would be your authority links. Now, general rule of thumb, you build links directly to your main website to boost that site's authority regardless of the types of links. You have regular, you wanna, again, diversify. Regular links, anchor text links, normal links, high value links, lower value links, mid-range links. Then you want to build inbound links to your inbound links to boost the authority of those inbound links, thus filtering that authority to your website. So we'll go back to this scenario. We saw that these links are what they are because of what is being referred from them, the links that are coming into those. So as an example, sites with age like Web 2.0 sites, Squidoo, Hub Pages, Tumblr, and article directories like Easy and Articles, Go Articles, Article City already possess authority. They've been around for years. The search engines love them. They've ranked so many thousands of their pages, in some cases, maybe even millions. There's plenty of content, so the search engines already know what to expect. You want to piggyback off of that. You want to send inbound links to those types of sites that are linking to your site to boost their authority and even furthermore, boost your main website's position in the search engines and boost your main website's authority. So, and I'm sure someone's wondering, you've heard about the Panda Farmer update, Google Slaps, Google Kicks, Google Shotguns, everything else. Here's a basic tip to almost guarantee that you will not get affected by Google updates. And this comes from one of the premier search engine optimization experts that has been around for years and has had her sites never get touched from this one simple strategy. Provide valuable content that helps your readers and that you would share. Don't think spammy, don't think worthless, focus on value and something that you would like to share. That's it. Stay tuned for specific strategies, resources, and tools to help with your link building and improving your website's exposure and search rankings uh, in the very near future.